Uh, in this video I want to speak about three beautiful and powerful affirmations that I've heard recently. They're really inspiring and beautiful and I'm sure that if you connect with them they may be of great use for you. Before going into details I want to invite you to consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. It will help me a lot to have your subscribed because it's uh, the way YouTube works with the algorithm and these kind of things. So consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. Now going back to the three affirmations. Um, the program that I've attended was called Elders at the Gate and it was organized by the American organization Illumin. This is an organization uh, dedicated for man's development and it was founded by the spiritual teacher uh, Richard Rohr. And uh, yeah, of course, being uh, uh, let's say uh, an organization that is using also transcendental or spiritual practices is using also in a way deep and spiritual affirmations and three of these affirmations uh, uh, will be shared in this video with you and I want to share the first one uh, which is really really beautiful and this one says that you are enough. That you are enough, that I am enough, that we all are enough. And when I've heard it, especially with the voice of the, the guy, the facilitator, that was a very deep, grounded voice, and when he, he said it, that you are enough, those words really touched me deeply and it spoke to a place inside of me that is quite vocal sometimes and quite active and that place inside of me is saying very often that I'm not enough that I am not beautiful enough that I'm not smart enough that I'm not uh, tall enough or muscled enough or rich enough or um, uh, everything that can relate to not being enough and when I hear these voices I don't feel very good and I feel not enough and I feel uh, inadequate and I feel that I don't want to do much in life because I'm not enough and when hearing that affirmation that affirmation those words went deeply deeply and now there's a plane flying over people traveling moving around the world following their dreams uh, yeah so those words of that affirmation that I am enough reach that that little one that fragmented one that thinks that I'm not enough and it's so important to know that we are enough because we are humans and we are imperfect we are limited and actually this is maybe a better word to say that not that we are imperfect but we are limited and everything is limited on this earth you know if I look at the trees uh, behind me they are in a way not enough but at the same time they are enough the way they are and I want to take these words and I want to feel these words and tell to myself I'm enough the way I am the way my body looks the way my brain works my achievements my bank account my house everything is enough because I am enough so this is the first affirmation I am enough and you are enough the second affirmation that I've heard in that program which was again coming from that beautiful and grounded that mature voice of the facilitator the second affirmation was that everything is going to be okay 
everything is going to be okay with my life, with your life, lives, with our lives. And very often I find myself worrying endlessly about the end of the world, about uh, my um, limited potential that, uh, you know, I'm stressing about lots of things, about climate change, corruption, uh, the work that I do, that, oh my God, not enough participants will come to my activities or not enough people will watch uh, these videos. And I'm worried uh, about lots of things and uh, yeah, when hearing this affirmation that everything is going to be okay, for me it sounded as an universal truth that indeed everything is going to be okay because everything was okay. If now I'm looking back in the past, having a big picture of my life, I can say indeed yes, most if not all the worries have not been true. They were only in my imagination and at the end of the day indeed everything was okay. And this is a beautiful and powerful affirmation that speaks again to that place of my self, inside myself that is worried and stressed and fearful. And this voice is coming with confidence and trust in my life path, in my destiny, with trust from a bigger power that everything is going to be okay. So this is the second affirmation, everything is going to be okay. Now the third affirmation, I have to admit that is a little bit more challenging to explain. And the third affirmation is, you are loved. You are loved and I am loved. And this is for me a very spiritual affirmation and is connected in a way with the Divine Presence, with God, with Allah, with Buddha, with the Force, with however you want to call it. This Divine Presence that is guiding us uh, in a way, whatever way, however you want to see it, if you want to look at it in this, this way. And knowing that we are loved, that I am loved, in a way speaks to, uh, to me that there is a bigger force a divine force, a universal mysterious energy that is taking care of me, that is loving me. This force, this entity loves me and wants me to uh, live in a meaningful way and wants me to manifest my, myself in a, um, in a deep and beautiful and um, uh, spiritual way, you know, so, so to speak. So yeah, this is the third affirmation that I am loved and that you are loved in any kind of way. And this affirmation goes beyond human kind of love because we may think that, yeah, but you know, I don't feel the love of uh, the people around me for, for me. And maybe that is true or maybe not. Uh, but this kind of law, love is a spiritual love, is a divine love. And when I sit here in, the, in this forest and I look around and I see the beauty and I feel that I belong to the earth, I belong to this place and I'm in relationship with all these beings, I can indeed say to myself that I am loved from beyond my consciousness, from beyond my ego. So these were the three affirmations that I wanted to share with you that really touched me and I believe that uh, they can be of great use for me and for, for you as well. And um, what can we do with them? Uh, how can we use them for our well-being? Well, first of all is to 
embrace them and spend time with them and repeat them. For example, let's just take one affirmation, the one that says that I am enough and repeat it to ourselves from time to time. When we wake up, when we go to sleep, in the moments in which we doubt ourselves and we doubt our values, we can spend some time and look into the mirror or repeat into ourselves or write into our journals that I am enough and you are enough. We may repeat it, close our eyes for a few seconds and say it with confidence that I am enough. My body is enough. The way I am is enough. And I am beautiful the way I am. And the same we can do with the second affirmation, with everything is going to be okay. In the moments in which we feel stressed and worried about the future, we may pause, take a step backwards, close our eyes, deep breathing and repeat it. Everything is going to be okay. It always has been and it will be okay. And this okay may be very different than what we expect. And with the third affirmation as well. I am loved. I'm loved by life, I'm loved by earth, I'm loved by this forest and these trees that witness me and see what I do in this place. And maybe I'm loved by, by some of you that, I don't know, watch this video and feel some usefulness in what I say and pass on to you. So this is what I wanted to share with you, my friend, in this video. Three affirmations that I'm inviting you to embrace and use and spend some time with them, repeat them, integrate them and see how they can help you on your life path. I want to tell you before closing this video that my friend, you are enough and that everything is going to be okay and that you are loved. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Give a like, comment, share it with your friends. I'm curious about your opinion. And let's make the world a better place. We have to, we need to. The world needs us completely, fully dedicated to our personal mission. Thank you, my friend. Much love from Romania, from this beautiful forest. These trees send their greetings to you. Thank you. Bye-bye.